Morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas day 22. I actually look a little bit more presentable for the first time this Vlogmas. Um, I've just done like my everyday quick skincare slash makeup situation and I thought it's getting on with the day but I need to show you well I need to open my advent with you but I've not got a tripod so well I do I just can't be bothered to go get it because I'm being lazy um I'm having a rest day today I'm gonna take Hughie out for a little walk a bit later I don't know what the time is it's quarter to one so I'm gonna take Hugo out in a little while probably about half one and then tonight we're going late night shopping the last food shop of before Christmas I couldn't think of what I was saying but I thought we could just open our advent of the day so let's do that I'm watching Harry Potter I've also painted my nails if anyone's interested do you think they look cute for Christmas um, I think they look better than they did at least except why does it always happen like it's actually a joke how I'll do my nails and I already scruff them up in like five seconds of having them on anyway let's get open shall we <laughs> that is cute it's a little Frenchie I don't I think it's a daughter I don't think she goes gonna like this He's going to try and eat it. It's a little Frenchy doorstop. That's so cute. <laughs> Aww. You can't see. Little doorstop. That is so sweet. Uh, that's Advent done. We'll do um, the one from Connor's mum later on. This is what we actually got. I think it's in the kitchen. It's just an empty box. Yeah, we got like a barbecue steakhouse situation i don't really know what it was it's like a cookbook kind of thing um but yeah so that is what the plan is for today but i didn't want to start the vlog too early because i thought we we're doing stuff later on um so i'll just save the content for then um, yeah i feel like i don't know i do feel ready for christmas but i also don't I've, I've not really got anything to get ready for but it's just come around so bloody quick i don't know where the time goes i say this every single year it just comes around so fast i feel like i blink and it's christmas and people take the people judge when the shops get their christmas stuff in in august but realistically it comes around so quick you need it in there for August, you know so yeah, I don't know where the time's gone. I do feel prepared. Like, we didn't get... We're not doing presents this year, so nothing to get on that front. But I just don't know. I really, really don't know. Hugo doesn't like moaning myrtle. It's really windy today. Like, it's so windy. And I was going to go for a run, but... With it being so windy, I'm just not even going to put myself through that. I just wanted a lazy day today, so that's what I'm doing. Tomorrow, like I said, I'm at my mum's pretty much all day. So I won't be vlogging much in the day, but I'll just vlog in the evening times. Obviously, movie nights, I'll probably watch some Christmas films. And then it's Christmas Eve Eve on Saturday. And we're going, I think Connor's dad and his girlfriend are coming down. So we'll be doing something on that day. I don't know what, because they haven't booked anywhere to go eat. And trying to get in somewhere without booking, I think, is going to be near enough impossible. But we'll see um that is boys for you and then it's christmas eve christmas eve we've got no plans so i think i'm going to do the baking christmas eve and we'll probably just chill to be honest that's it that's literally it and then it's christmas day um i'm gonna head to my mum's on christmas day around 11 ish i think and stay there until about four 11 12 1 2 3 4 yeah and then that's about it. It's just crazy how quickly the time's going. I don't understand it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so invested in Harry Potter, even though I've watched this a thousand times. Uh, but do you guys feel like it's gone fast as well? Because how are we on day 22 of Vlogmas? I know, obviously, I film a day ahead, but 
that's just mad. It really is. Like, am I the only one? I feel like I'm going crazy. I actually am really excited for the new year. I feel like I've set so many new goals and I want to do a video on like how to stay positive throughout the new year, how to stay organised, set your goals and your intentions right. And yeah, I just, I really enjoy a new year. A lot of people hate New Year's, don't they? Like, a lot of people hate January. It's like, it's a very depressing month for a lot of people, but I just really enjoy it. I feel like it's such a good month to just start fresh and i'm not one to believe in you know oh diet starts monday diet starts like i feel if you want to start something it should start then and there do you know what i mean you don't need to wait but i don't know i feel like a new year will be good and productive and successful and we're manifesting this into the universe now and we're going to keep manifesting until it comes true so say it with me we are all successful I am full of abundance, I'm full of joy, I'm full of success and I allow it to come to me openly. I trust the universe on the journey I'm on and I'm thankful that I am where I am right now. Repeat those, um, just to feel a little bit better. But yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this conversation so I'm going to shut off now and I'll probably speak to you a bit later. Day 21! inside we just got an amazon delivery what is this? Okay. Okay, so well, so oh, chocolate orange cake truffles i mean don't like chocolate orange but you can go lights to smell them should we draw they smell chocolatey. They look chocolatey. Yeah. Oh, one for me, one for you. Pair of balls. Right. Cheers. I quite like them. They're very chewy. You can have them. You don't like it. Don't like chocolate orange. Mm. We like chocolate orange or like these. Hey guys, so change of plan. Mum and I are gonna go shopping tomorrow morning because we just think it's gonna be a little bit quieter. Um, I'm not here for the, you know, Christmas food shop rush. Um, but with that, I've not filmed anything all day. So, um, I thought I'd show you what Hugh, Hugh guys, Connor got from Amazon. So this is, he said that he bought something that we needed, which benefited him, but was more useful to me. And I was like, what could it be? I was thinking about all the things that have like broken or, you know, whatever. And I thought, two days ago, my hand whisk broke. He bought me a new hand whisk, so. I'm unboxing it with you. He got me the Kenwood Hand Mix Light. I had a... I cannot for the life of me remember what brand it was. The other one. I cannot for the life of me remember, but basically when I was using it, the whisks kept getting caught on each other and it wasn't whisking properly. And Yeah, so he bought me a new one. So we're unbo Oh, it's got some different hooks. What are these hooks for? Are they don't hooks. Anyone know? Um, how exciting! I love getting. What is P? I love getting new kitchen appliances. Okay, so these are needles. Yeah, for like <laughs> dough. Anyway, this is my new hand whisk. Um, we'll put this to use. At the weekend. Did I tell you I did my nails? I think I did. Anyway, the other, the other thing he got was a new scale. Um, 15 year guarantee. Well, ours is shit. And let's have a look. So, we've got, this is the scales we currently have. These food scales. These salt ones. And kind of got the same scales, just in black. He didn't realise they were the same. Um, so I wanted to see 
How are we going to do this? You know when you put like jars on here, you set it to zero, and then you take, yeah it just doesn't do that on this one. It's so annoying, but oh well, we've got a new pair of scales, so yeah I was just unboxing everything. Putting it away basically. I've got so much cardboard, but I cannot put it outside because it's so windy. It's so windy. It's literally like 42 gusts, miles per hour gusts. So it's not going outside, it's staying inside at the moment, um, which is annoying. And also, I found my refillable lighter fluid. So, yay me! Um, I think this dusty crusty one can go away. We could keep it. Um, what else are we going to catch you up on? Nothing. I don't think there's anything else to catch you up on, to be honest. Just um, that we're not going out shopping tonight. So we've got cottage pie for dinner tonight already done because i made it a few weeks ago and it's just been defrosting so that's dinner sorted don't have to worry about that and i'm just gonna chill for a bit i might go play a bit of cod not really sure yet what i want to do i think i'm gonna play a bit of cod but yeah i just wanted to catch you up as to why um there was a change of plan also i'll show you the books i've got because i got a few books um so i've ordered okay i'm back sorry my mum just rung me so i got a few books off amazon um i've actually all done a vintage haul as well for books so if you are interested let me know so i got three books they're part of a series i'm missing the first one because i bought that off vintage so i'm just waiting for that to come um Amazon just never really look after their books which upsets me but it's okay if you know you know this is the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher like I said I'm missing Throttled which is the first one um but that is coming it's been it's been shipped I'm just waiting for the delivery when I tell you I'm excited for this I've already read this but to have these covers these beautiful covers stunning Laura Nasha stunning thank you this one this book incredible um I can't wait to reread those books even though I've read them because I love them so much um I'm also going to go through all the books on my bookshelf because I don't think I'm going to read a lot of these some I've picked up on charity bookshops and I thought, oh, that sounds good, but I actually don't think I'm ever going to get around to reading them. So I am going to list a load of books on my Vinted after Christmas. So if you're interested in some like really cheap books, check out my Vinted. I'll leave it linked in the description. But yeah, these are essentially an F1, ser an F1 series, um, all based on different F1 drivers, but they're all kind of interconnected. You could just read them as standalones. Um, I just love them all. I love them. And I'm so glad that I've got them. And you know what? This is just confirming in my mind that I do not want to carry on reading Christmas books because I just want to go back. I want to go back to the sports romance. And I am a sucker for sports romance, okay? Like ice hockey romance. F1. If you know any good F1 romance books, let me know. Grumpy Sunshine is my favourite. Force Proximity. That kind of jazz. Um enemies to lovers fake dating you know you know what i like if you've watched my book videos but yeah i'm super excited about these so they are just if you love f1 if you, even if you don't like f1 these books will get you into f1 i promise because this is what made me watch drive to survive because i read these books and i was like oh f1 sounds kind of interesting you know like i was more invested in the f1 in these books than i was in the romance and then i was like mm, yeah f1 does sound kind of good and then i kept on reading i was like i really like the sound of f1 i think i really enjoy watching it and then i watched drive to survive on 
Netflix because it just came up on my recommended, probably listening to my the TV, listening to me or what I like and what I'm reading. And I was like, I'm just gonna watch it. Do you know what? Might as well give it a go. And here I am, a massive F1 fan to this day. Um, and I am a Drive to Survive fan. Some people don't like that, but you know, we've all got to start somewhere. Um, but I'm such a fan that I literally rewatch old races that I've missed because I want to know the history, you know. So I love Formula One so, so, so much. I watch it every single weekend when it's on. Um, so does Connor, I got Connor into it. It's just the best sport in the world, in my opinion. And to have these books in physical copies, I refuse to get the other covers because the other covers are ugh, are gross um so i got these and i'm also really contemplating buying the magnolia park series on ebay it's like 40 pounds for the four books with the nice covers i don't want i could buy the books cheaper and have the ugly feet covers but i don't want that <laughs> i want the nice covers so i'm thinking i'm gonna do that treat myself why not but i'm excited these going on my bookshelf so connor gifted me one and i bought the other two so yeah that's exciting i don't think i've got any other books that you guys don't know about so you're all up to date with my books hello jasmine just wanted to end her vlog and say thank you for watching and we will see you tomorrow we love you and i'm going to sleep now so bye